What's up, YouTube's PZ Asking here. I've got a little bit of an update video for you guys today. This was going to be an outside video, actually. But when I was recording it, my iPod, my iPod just randomly resprung itself, which essentially means, um, at least I, I tend to think that of it as like it had a it blue screened essentially. Um, I think that's essentially what happened. I bet it had like a kernel panic or something. So. I, I, so frustrating, so frustrating, but whatever, I'm, uh, I don't know. Anyways, I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys a bit of what I was going to say in yesterday, or what I was saying in yesterday's video, but my iPod, iPod's memory was full, full, so it wouldn't actually, um, it actually stopped recording, but because of how slow it is, it, um, it took it like a minute before it finally said, I'm no longer recording, so, yeah. And so, essentially, I was talking to myself there, because my iPod just stopped recording, like, a minute before I even noticed that it was done, because, uh, I don't know. Whatever. I'm really wanting to get the new iPod, but I'm, I'm thinking I have about other priorities. But, let me go ahead and explain to you guys what's going on with the iMac. As you can see, right behind me there, it is currently in the process of rendering a video. Hooray! So, let me go ahead and get into that. Because, um, as you can see, I am clearly using it to make videos right now. What's going on is, is that when my iMac... When, when my iMac is... um, what, what am I trying to say? When my iMac... Okay, let me start here. The, my graphics card is actually, you know, stable enough to the point that I can actually record, you know, the screen, and then go in and edit that video, and then render the video. It is stable enough to where I can do that. It's after I do that about two or three times that the graphics card starts becoming unstable, and it starts, you know, the screen starts flashing and, you know, blinking, and it locks up and freezes up here and there, and... You know, sometimes it'll just show these really crazy graphical glitches. Um, so that is currently what it is. So basically, if if I am experiencing stuff like that, then what I, all all it really takes is that I just need to shut the computer all the way down and then turn it back on. And for whatever reason, it, it's fine. But usually, what I do is that when it's doing that, I turn it off and then I wait for about like an hour. And then I get back on and I can actually use it for a decent amount. It's really starting to sound like what the original problem was when I first got it. Um, you know, it starts glitching out on you, so you turn it off and then, you know, wait for about an hour and a half, or, you know, half an hour to an hour, and then you can turn it back on and continue doing stuff. So that's essentially what the problem is. So what I'm going to be doing is because of that, you know, I've got this little adventure map um, LP that I'm doing right now. That is actually, one of the episodes is actually rendering behind me. Um, so what I'm actually doing is, what I'm thinking I'm going to do for my Minecraft channel, specifically about my Minecraft channel, is that I'm going to be doing like mini, you know, sort of small Let's Plays, you know, with, you know, adventure maps or and stuff. Um, maybe an episode of Hardcore Survival here and there, you know. I actually, I did go ahead and make a season finale of season one which is going to be a crazy long video. It's actually an hour and a half long. I thought it was appropriate. I just get stuff done. Come to a good stopping point for season one. That's essentially what the video is. But when 1.5 came out, I made another video that's still going to be a part of season one. Um, it's, it's, you know, me just sort of messing around with the 1.5 update. There's really nothing that happens. I just kind of mess around with it. I haven't actually yet uploaded those episodes. I do need to get those uploaded. But, yeah, those will be coming out sometime next month. So, yeah. Um, that's that. But, I've got, I'm going to set have these videos set to upload every other day. So, you're not going to get an episode of it tomorrow. You're going to actually get another episode on, mon on Monday. Or, no, no, no. You're not going to be getting an episode today. You're going to be getting an episode tomorrow. And then you're going to get the next episode on Wednesday. And then the next one on Friday. So that's the way that that's going to work out, so let me know what you think about that. I'm going to have them set to upload at 5 p.m., um, maybe unless it's on a weekend. If it's like on a weekend or something, I might have it upload maybe earlier in the morning or something, but eh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I kind of like the idea of maybe doing that, but we'll, we'll check it out. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just, that's kind of what I'm thinking about doing, you know, maybe just mini LPs and mini um, walk, 
run-throughs and such, just just stuff like that. And in terms of this channel, I really should be taking advantage of that, but I do have a little bit of editing I need to get caught up on. I need to finish recording this. Like, I want to have all the episodes pre-recorded so I can just upload them and forget about it, you know what I mean? Because it's going to be a very short series, you know? It, it, there's only eight levels in this, so... Yeah, I mean, there's actually going to be more than eight episodes. This is actually part two of episode four, although it's probably going to be called episode six, because I'm... I was going to call it, like, episode... You know, episode three is actually made up of two parts, so I was going to call it, like, episode 3.5, but I'm just going to call it episode four, because I think it would be better. And that way I won't really have to change up my uploading schedule too much, so that's that. And plus it is the length of a full episode anyway, so who cares. That is, um, that's basically that. But for my main channel, once I'm done caught up with this, if this thing is still, like, you know, good to go and stuff, then I might consider, you know, I'm gonna see if I can get my, uh, you know, use it to edit some of the videos that I upload to this channel. Um, that would be pretty cool. I don't think this video is gonna be edited. I think this video is probably not gonna be edited at all. Um, there's one thing I've actually found, is that Windows Live Movie Maker, I, at first I hated it, but then I got used to it, but now, it depresses me. It, like, seriously depresses me. I can't, I open it, and I go to edit, and it's just like, why did you make it work like that? It's like, it's, it's terrible, like, when you first, when you're trying to seek to a particular po a spot in the video, you know, if you look at the uh, interface, if you've used it before, you know how they're split up into, like, you know, different sections, like, each clip is, and, you know, that is your precision. That is the amount of precision you can use when scrolling to, I don't even think, I don't even think there's, like, a seek bar. I'm pretty sure there's not a seek bar, like, you know, where the preview is. I don't think there's, like, a little seek bar or a little scrubber bar that I can use to, um, just make sure I went to fall asleep, that you can use to, you know, be to get, you know, scroll to a specific time, you, you, I, I don't think that that's in there, it's absurd. This, though, you can get down to, like, pretty much, like, milliseconds. Like, that's the precision of screen flow. It's like, I actually don't even know, it's, it's, it's crazy, crazy specific. You can zoom in really far and make edits, you know, with insane precision. It's, it's insane, I love it. Um, but you can't do that in Movie Maker. It's like five second intervals. I mean, it does have more precision than that, but like in terms of getting to where you want to make an edit, you have to like, it's, you have to click on the section that's closest to the part you want to do, and then you have to play the video and wait for it to scrub by. If it passes over what you want to do, you have to do it again. You just have to click on it again, wait for the scroll bar to get there, and then make sure you stop it at the right time. It's so tedious. It's depressing. So, yeah, that's that. I'm actually working on a Zippo video that I'm editing with Live Movie Maker. I, it's painful. Painful to edit. Painful to edit. It, it's really painful to edit. It's just... Oh, man. It's it's terrible. Honestly, I wish they never changed, you know, the regular Movie Maker. Because the regular Movie Maker was actually somewhat decent. Like, there's, like, a very slight... It's sort of crude, but you can do layered editing with it. You know, and if you don't know what layered editing is, it's like, you know, with ScreenFlow, it has layered, it's definitely layered editing. You know, I can, I could, like, put another video, like, right here or something. You know, while this video is playing, there'd be, like, a little image right here or something. You could kind of do that with the preview version. There is no way whatsoever you can do that with um, Windows Live Movie Maker. The way they have it set up, it's just impossible. It's literally impossible. You can't do it, which is just so upsetting. You literally have to stop the video put the picture in between the two clips, so then there's like this awkward silence, and then the video will resume from there. Like, I keep forgetting about that, so like I'm talking as if the picture's in your face, but then I realize, oh wait, I can't put the picture there while this is playing, so. I mean, I could, but it's, it, it, whatever, I'm done with that rant. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely want to make sure that I get myself a new computer for that, so. Um, yeah, I do need to get myself like I say, I'm gonna. I'm really looking into that MacBook Pro. I know it's a laptop. I know this, but I want something that's portable so it'd be easier to upload stuff. It won't necessarily be optimal for doing the Minecraft videos, but I kinda have a desktop. I kinda have a desktop, which is actually somewhat decent at recording them. So, I mean, we'll see. I don't know when this thing is actually starting to really become useless. Then hopefully, hopefully. I've always, heard, it's always been like, it's always worked like this. Third time, you send the computer and they're just like, screw it, you're getting a new computer. 
and hopefully that is going to be the case with this. I really, really hope so. I am so sick and tired of this. This is like, this is beyond annoying. Like, I want, yeah. Um, I'm not really counting on it though, but we'll see. That is oftentimes what happens, and it's usually what happens with this particular problem. Like, everybody with this problem, it, you know, the long, you know, long story short, they wind up with a new computer after two or three, you know, visits to the shop, because, yeah. So hopefully that's what happens, I have no idea, but anyways, I think I was going to do it for this video, um, yeah. Thank you all for watching, and adios.